Today we're going to be taking a look at the Hallmark card of the new All Will Be One set. And let me tell you guys, this thing is absolutely busted. And we are talking, of course, about All Will Be One, the enchantment. If you guys don't know, anytime a uh, counter is placed on a permanent or a per uh, player, you're going to be dealing um, that much damage to any target of your choice, which is absolutely absurd in this build today because we are focused heavily on oil counters and 1-1 one -one counters. We've got some new things like the adaptive and the maze crusher. Uh, crusher the adaptive comes in with an oil counter on it and its power and toughness are equal to the uh, amount of oil counters it has and its uh, oil counters get added to this every time you play a creature or a creature comes onto the field that has higher power or toughness than it so it grows pretty quickly and then we also have maze crusher with uh, the five oil counters being uh placed onto it when it enters the battlefield so you get a five uh you know a five damage fireball to throw at something if you have the all will be one out on the field and you can remove oil counters to do a plethora of things um we've also got really fun things like the mine singer and the forge the forge is going to place an oil counter on itself every turn creating a trample haste creature with power equal to the number of oil counters you have which can trigger the adaptive by the way which is really cool to keep growing and then also the mine singer can steal a creature but we can also dump a lot of mana into this to give it one one counters to deal additional damage as well with the all will be one uh the synergies are really high and this is actually a pretty aggressive build for me and i really enjoyed it and i think you guys will too uh but if you guys want a full deck breakdown there will be one at the end of today's video so stick around for that in the meantime in the links below if you want the full deck list it's all there and if you guys enjoy content just like this we post videos five days a week so be sure to hit the like subscribe all that stuff helps out more than you know and i would greatly appreciate it with that being said enjoy the video guys we'll see you here at the end peace what is up everybody welcome back to a brand new video today we're going to be playing the mascot of the new set all will be one uh, the enchantment is called all all will be one and uh it's going to allow us to basically throw some fireballs at the opponent's face every time we play something with counters on it so we've got a lot of oil counters one one counters things like that to take advantage of and we're going to be trying to move very quickly here dealing damage to the opponent quickly before they can get anything going <clears throat> let's see opening hand was good enough i like the uh start that we're having here the gallic readers into the forge is really really good because the forge creates creatures every single time growing our gallic readers or even ramping us into bigger place and then the hot springs is just a load of fun very cool sleeves they've got here i think i've said that before i like those ones a lot <clears throat> Not sure what the opponent's up to just yet. Esper, and it looks like Esper control possibly here. There goes our Gala Greeters, which is tough, but at least the Forge can kill the Liliana immediately, which is really nice. Really nice. Kind of been a cleaner answer to the problem here. A threat that, you know, we can invest into in the future and uh, it takes care of a planeswalker it's uh definitely a win-win there for us we're in the four mana department though so i would imagine it's going to be wandering emperor coming down next could be some sort of esper planeswalker build wouldn't be too surprising if it was wonder if we're going to see the gauntlet in this one the old gauntlet that makes everything proliferate we'll see oh it's kaito okay no for me. all right and another red source is pretty solid. Um, I don't see why we don't just play this and maybe just give this an oil counter to speed, uh, speed up the process slightly. And we attack, whoops, we attack in. And it's really nice too, because like, as you've seen right there, anytime a creature, you know, enters the battlefield um, with greater power, it's going to create this oil counter, which is then going to pump up, uh, you know, the adaptive so a lot of synergies with the forge um with our deck all right they're drawing cards we don't like that but it's not the end of the world now this. we have a couple proliferate cards too so with the oil counters we can pump everything up on the field for even more damage going forward i would imagine the opponent's gonna have some sort of kill spell or sweeper for the board later but doesn't really matter with the forge because it just keeps sending more threats so avoid rend is really the card we want to avoid here avoid rend can destroy any permanent so as soon as the forge is out of here we're probably going to be in trouble
Another Kaito here, okay. You ready, Pom -Pom they did have a creature attack, return it to their hand. They did not return it to their hand though. All right. All right, we're definitely going to proliferate first. All right. Then we're gonna oil counter on the forge and we're gonna send in a six powered into Kaito number one. Get out of here, Forge is going to become a one shot at some point in this game. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. Uh, this other Kaito drawing on cards, though, is frustrating, but I needed to make sure I could attack with my 4 4. Liliana, there goes my 4 4. That's All unfortunate. Right. And you think you can win? That is a bit unfortunate. Oh, I've always hated crowds. And it's another planeswalker we want to uh, have to deal with, unfortunately. All right, Kaido draws him another card. I know something you don't know. All right, let's get this down. Let's kind of do the exact same thing we just did. Let's proliferate. Let's add an oil counter here. Man, do I just want to kill them? I mean, it's two shots and they're dead, but... Kaito drawing on cards. Yeah, let's just kill him. I think we gotta avoid I think we just gotta avoid the opponent's uh planeswalkers and go straight for their face. Because if they don't have an answer for the forge, we just win the game next turn. So I don't see why we don't just ignore the planeswalkers. Let them draw their cards, do whatever they gotta do. Um I would imagine they don't have an answer here. So it's a bit of a gamble. I mean they could have some sort of removal. Um if they find it with Kaito's draw ability, we're gonna be really sad, but I just don't think that's gonna happen. I'm glad we got to showcase this uh, style of gameplay, though, where we got to, you know, get the, uh, the mount, uh, monuments down and pumping up the forge. It's just one of many combos we have, so really cool that we got an opportunity to showcase it. I don't like that they dropped my hot springs here. It's all good, though. All good. All right, that'll do it. That will do it. All right, we got an 11 Trampler coming through. They are going to gain two life, but then we have a 4-4 four four as well. So not a whole lot they can do here. Only one mana open. Um, if it's a Fading Hope, we you know could cry ourselves to sleep tonight, but I don't think it is. All right, sweet. They are dead. Very nice. Good first game. This deck is very powerful, guys. I've been having a lot of success with this thing today, so should be some good games. All right, very solid first game here. I just, uh, I'm glad we got to win off of the, the combinations we had there, but obviously hoping to get the enchantment down soon so we can show you just how good that can be when you have all of these counters, man. Oil counters are actually pretty busted. Another Gala into Forge here. I mean, that's a very keepable hand. I just, we already won this way, so I want to... Try to mix it up a little bit. All right, they had to take a mulligan. Unfortunate. Starting things off with some life gain. Interesting. Bulgari with some life gain. Is that by design or just because we want the cheaper lands? You never really know. You never really know if that's by design or not until later. But Golgari would probably mean that we're up against some sort of obliterator deck which doesn't exactly fare well for us <clears throat> we don't like that because obliterator is a creature we don't want to be dishing damage to so hopefully uh we can figure out a way around that got the forge going though feeling good about that um maze crusher is pretty cool especially if this is like a fight rigging deck we can blow up the uh fight rigging with the crusher's ability we don't have double red, so Raiju not coming down this turn. Um, I may want to consider finding the red source with this. Yeah, we probably should. Yeah, let's be smart about this. I think finding a red source to make sure my hand is actually playable is the right call here. All right, Forge going up even further, going in for two. And here's where we start to uh, inch our way to victory. 
Maze Crusher is such a cool card. We can pump this up, uh, you know, for 2-2, two, two, making it a 6-6 six, six body or, you know, making it elusive with its ability uh, for one. Or we can blow up an enchantment like so. That was, to me, a no-brainer, um, in my opinion. I think that was a very easy call for me to make. That card drawing them cards could be a really big problem, especially because they missed a land drop. And if we can keep them off the land drops, we, uh, we should be able to win this pretty easily. I think this one is a pretty open and shut case. Yep, there it is. G G's up to the next tier and platinum on our way to diamond, man. We're so, well, we're not actually that close, are we? Platinum tier two. <laughs> yeah, we got a way to go. Ways to go. GG's though. Well, that game went really fast. I didn't expect any of my games to go that quickly, but man, my phone has been blowing up. 14 messages right now. My wife's family, I'm going to throw this thing on the floor in the carpet so I don't hear it. My wife's family is having a Super Bowl party tomorrow and uh, it's just like 30 people talking about ribs and stuff. <laughs> All right. That's a really cool card. I actually did consider throwing that in my own build. All right, getting down the Bank Buster first. Could have gone Adaptive there, but I think the Bank Buster is the right call. There's no damage being presented to me yet. Until now, that's, uh, that's a card. Yikes. Well, they are uh, cruising along, aren't they? Well, I guess we play our biggest thing that we can play. It's a good blocker, but not in the air. So we are pretty susceptible here to the 6-6 six, six flyer over the top wow that thing is brutal as long as we can defend against everything else though we should be fine because this will actually eventually end up killing them all right these are all fine this doesn't even present any poison so it's interesting to see this uh the rot priest just got to play defense mode. That's all I got to do. I can eat th eat the sixth uh, shot three times exactly and still be alive. Barely. So I guess that could be our alternative uh, thought process here. Just stay alive long enough till they kill themselves. Yeah. Let's put another body down. Not drawing very uh, well, are we? Still haven't found the enchantments. All will be one, man. Would be really nice to get it down next turn, but. Rot Priest can't attack. They've got plenty of mana, though. So if they hit me here for six, right? Then next turn they go to one. They hit me for six again. And then they go to zero and I win the game. Yeah, I think I, I, think I timed that correctly. What are they doing? Okay, just the 6-6, six, six. got it. All right. And my turn, let's go. Oh, what a card, I like that card a lot. Um, do we use it right now though? We can kick it one time, making it a 4-4. This puts oil counters on itself. Um, could just bring it in for 2-2 two, two and steal something, couldn't I? I could. Let's draw a card then. There's the all will be one. Love that. All right, let's get this down. We're not even going to kick it. Totally fine to just play it out. Adaptive is going to get an oil counter. And then we're going to steal probably the Rot Priest, I would imagine, is our best shot. <clears throat> well, actually, how many oil counters does this need to do? It gets 3-0 and has... Uh, oh, just 3-0 once it has a certain amount of oil counters. All right, we'll take that, actually. All right, no attacks and just block, man. Just block. That's all we can do. The opponent goes down to one oil counter here. They got to be able to uh, basically proliferate or their toast. Had we gone first, maybe we win this game, but uh, I would imagine they're going to proliferate and save themselves. Kind of, a, kind of a crazy game if you think about it, though. If we end up winning this game, it's it'd be a pretty absurd game. I think going, yeah, like I said, did we go second? It feels like we did, right? One, 
two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think we went uh, second, which kind of bit us in the butt here. And there's a proliferate, so the opponent's uh, dross is going to survive. And uh, that will seal the deal, I believe, on their victory. So a little bit of a bummer. A little bit of a bummer. <clears throat> You never know. They might make a mistake here. Okay. That was odd. All they had to do was proliferate and that would have stayed alive. Wow. They just opened the door wide open for us. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. This couldn't have gone better. This literally could not have gone better for us. Because that now with their creature that we stole, we have enough mana to do that and this, and we kill the Vraska. Oof. Poor guy. All they had to do is proliferate and they would have been fine. Wild. Now we got to start looking to attack maybe here. Yeah, probably send some of these in here. But if they, if they kill one of these, they only have one clear attacker. So yeah, I think sending in one of these is fine. What a bummer, dude. I actually feel bad for them. But they still could win this game. I'm getting a little ahead of myself, to be honest. But I don't think they had a better shot than what they had on board. Yep, I'm pretty sure we got this. Because these come down and one shot these heavies. All right, here we go. Ooh, we get proliferate as well. I can't take any damage though, which means I can't play another one of these. Bummer. Bummer. But I can proliferate the whole board. Which is one, two, three, four, five, six. How do we want to spread that out? Probably kill these two. So we'll go one, two, Three, four, five, and six. We're taking two poison counters here. Actually, are we taking more than that? Oh, I guess this isn't a spell, so we're not actually targeting with the spell. I thought maybe we were going to get a bunch of poison counters off of this, but it's not a spell. It's an ability, so I guess it doesn't work that way. All right, and then we again, we don't want to take damage from this land, so playing this would be not very smart. Well, actually, hold on. This counts as any land, doesn't it? Oh, but I still think this is better. Should have played this prior to us playing that proliferate card, huh? Could have got an extra card draw, but not that it's going to matter. But that is a little bit of a misstep there. I could have could have played that first, gotten an extra card, uh, an extra counter on that. Could have played this a lot of different ways, uh, the more and more I look at it. All right, send it all in. Uh, there's the scoop. GG's. Wow. Should not have won that one, ladies and gentlemen. But that, at least, I'm glad we got to showcase how good the all uh, all will be won. How good this card can actually be. If you guys got to see a little bit of an example there of us sweeping up the entire board. What a what a fumble, though, with this card, huh? <laughs> GG's, man. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't concede too soon. I was definitely considering conceding there when I saw the Vraska come down. They threw us a bone, though. That proliferate... You know, obviously being the better play in my opinion, um, but I see what they were doing there. Obviously creating the treasure. It's you got to get rid of it, but um, Whoa, what's with that name? <laughs> stealing my flow. This person is definitely stealing my flow. Um, all right, we'll keep this. It's crazy. Uh, anyways, yeah, the name threw me off there. Uh, anyways, yeah, man. Nebraska was a sick, sick drop there. I thought, I thought we were toast. All right, a couple of uh, Gala Greeters could get us really going with the mana, but opponent on Jun Colors, Gala's not going to make it through the turn. Oh, wow, they took a couple mulligans, it looks like. I didn't even realize. All right, let's go with. You know, I'm going to go with the bank buster here. And on top of that, I'm going to go get my land. I want to make sure that my mana is flowing. And on top of that, I want to make sure 
I'm drawing cards because if we can outvalue them in that department of drawing cards with the fact that they've mulliganed so much, we could be in a really strong position. All right, we're going to get this down. Let's say go. Let's see if they got more removal for it, though. I'm sure they do. Nice. So this is going to be some sort of Jun removal tribal sort of situation, which is kind of why I wanted the bank buster down, too, so we can just keep drawing more cards to refill the situation. That's annoying because that's going to deal damage, obviously, every time we draw cards, which... It was the whole game plan for myself. <clears throat> but I have the ability here to, to do what? What do we want to do here? Um, Valdarian Mind Singer is like one, two, three. And then kick it once is for four. That's not good enough to steal this. I wish it was the same or beneath the amount of power. The fact that it has to be bigger makes things really tough, man. But <clears throat> I do have this. I'll say go here. Uh, we can give this 2-2 to the end of turn and kill the shielder that way, which isn't a terrible idea. Yikes, man. Yikes, dude. That's so annoying. <laughs> that shielder is so annoying, man. It's such a problem card for us to deal with. Shieldred, I've noticed, is the hardest card by far for our deck to deal with. This is not a deck designed to deal with shielded very well. It's four to power and five toughness. It's like just out of range of the Mind Singer and what a bummer. Okay. Well, we can Mind Singer and steal their Harvester, and then next turn we'll steal the uh, Shieldred. I definitely probably tapped my mana wrong there and eight damage for no reason. It looks like. Uh, let's say go. All right, the least are out of the out of cards now, and their next. Uh, Shieldred's gonna be up for grabs here. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. If I find one more land. Hopefully we find one more land here. Give me something good here off the top. Okay, what sort of creatures do they have in the graveyard? None. This is looking like LVD's Jun list, I think. Of course they get a good creature. A very good creature. That's not annoying at all. How lucky they just got. <laughs> all right. Are you attacking? I didn't think so. I didn't think so, buddy. Ah, we didn't draw what we needed, though. Bummer. Bummer. At least we can start gaining life every turn. I guess that's, that's a pretty strong plan. It's a pretty strong plan to kind of counteract Shieldred's effects. Gain the two life every time we draw a card, we, you know, lose the life. So I think that's fair. All right, we got to hope their top decks aren't incredible, which I'm sure they will be. That's how it typically goes. Untappable one target creature. So that's not very good. I did think about playing Tyvar myself, so I'm pretty familiar with the card, but there we go. That's all we needed. Say less, fam. Say less. Thank you. Yoink. And we'll gain another two. Definitely do one of those. Do one of those. Do all of this. All right. We should be able to win now pretty easily. Uh, now that I've got their shielded. Got your shielded. It's like got your nose, but better. Cut down on the Gallagher Eaters. That's fine. Now, we do have to remember they do have a lot of removal, right? So, um, it's not unlikely that they find something for the Mind Singers and get back their Shieldred. We're just hoping that they don't. <laughs> We're just kind of hoping and praying to the uh, Magic Gods. And they proliferate. I think they screwed up on... I think, I think they went a little quick there and uh, clicked a little too fast. Either way, though, even if they blew up my forge they're taking 10 14 56 17 damage next turn yeah i think they just knew they were dead maybe that's what it was gg all right that i'm telling you guys if you can figure out a way in this build i'm gonna tell you straight up now don't make this deck exactly the way you see it if you guys can figure out a way to deal with that shielded a little bit better than what i've got currently i would try to figure that out because that is a tough card to uh to crack 
All right, we got Bank Buster turn two if we want it, uh, which might be important with the curtains on the field. Plus, I don't really want to lose it to the curtains. So I think that's going to be the move here. I don't really care about the adaptive at the moment. I think I think we all know the curtains is going to be turn three here. Or not. Man, I don't have a great hand here, do I? I don't have the world's greatest hand. All right, we're taking a bit of a beating here. I have some good chump walkers, though, with these adaptives, but that's about all they're good for at the moment. And it's probably going to be another Shieldred because they know we don't play well with Shieldred. Why is it that we go against Shieldred though we go second too? That's the thing. It's like, give me a chance to try to, you know, get enough mana to steal it. Because that's our, that's our best answer is the Mind Singer. But it needs all of its mana to pump completely up and steal. So. All right. Gala Greeters is nice. Helps us with ramping up to one of the bigger Valderans. And we will chump where we can. They still get two cards though. It's inevitable that they find and invoke the spare too. So uh, pretty strong pro uh, possibility we die here. I'm just being completely honest with you guys. Um, yeah, this is not looking super, super great for your boy. Definitely gonna go for the treasure. I need a ramp as fast as possible to get this mind singer in and make a steal maybe on the Gix so I can start drawing cards myself. But that's our best shot. And this is an Invoke Despair coming down, I would imagine. So, Mono Black, our worst matchup by far. I've I've played a lot of games with this deck today. And I'm noticing a, a pattern here. We pretty much slay out across the board until we run into Mono Black. It's not, uh, it's not the matchup we want. G G's. We got absolutely rolled. <laughs> it's all good though. It's all good. Sure. I'm happy. Not really. All right. We still got time for one or two more here. Let's try to get some big games going here. I go second again. What is going on with that? Um, all will be one is in my hand. I have ramp mechanics with Gallag readers. I have the ability to fetch more lands with the roots. I'm going to keep this. It's just a bit slow, man. It's a bit slow. I need to see a few more creatures and then I'll feel a little bit better about this. Looking looking like we don't really need the roots anymore. Drew another land. And it was in the colors we needed, so. And we drew a creature, so things are looking up here. Top deck's looking pretty healthy. If I can just get this down, we'll be fine. This is clearly going to be some sort of toxic deck here. Um, I've seen a lot of Demir to uh, Toxic. I've been playing Demir Toxic decks myself lately. They're very good. Oh, they have the main uh, full mana curiosity. That's pretty desperate. They're off to a pretty slow start. We like that. Man, what if I steal that? That's going to be so good for us. All right, we are definitely going to ramp into the all will be one. Attack in. Next turn, one turn early on the all will be one. And then we just start smacking them with fireballs. Okay, this is not a typical toxic deck. They haven't poisoned me yet. I should feel very blessed about that. Uh, proliferate their Soren though. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, here we go. This is going to be fun. I don't necessarily think I want to double down on the all will be one. I think I got to get going pretty fast here with my my drops. Um, I got a five man, uh, a five power fireball going somewhere. Um, could proliferate at some point. I could just get the Valdarian or I keep calling the Valdarian. It's Vidalian. Vidalian. It's one of my favorite cards and I, I mispronounce it every time. Got to get this in though and I can kick it once for two. So I can blow something up for two. Surprised they've been proliferating so much with no poison yet, though. They kept a pretty bad hand. And we know they have poison because why run curiosity if you're not running poison? I bring my own 
All right, send them over the top. They are all flyers, pretty elusive and hard to deal with. Don't do it. Ugh, you monster. You absolute monster. Okay. That's interesting. Um, I think what I'm going to do here, though, is I'm going to go here and grab a green or a blue. Man, I only have one green, but... Yeah, I got to grab a green, huh? That's tough. That's tough. If I don't find another blue, I'm going to really feel bad about this, but I think it's the right call. All right, let's get this in. We throw five at you. This goes to two, which then kills this because I get another one. Yeah, another one goes here. And then we attack in like so. Soren is gone. Finally dealt with that problem. Now we end the turn. And what do we got? Menace, power-ups, and enchantment kills. This is not an enchantment, right? No. Artifacts, no. That's not good, though. That's very bad. That's very, very bad. Um, Anything I can do with this for right now? No, but I can use it for mana, though, which actually might end up helping us in the long run because we can now kick things like the Mind Singer with the second blue source. Yeah, this could this could end up working out in our favor. One, two, three, and then kick it once. And then we kill this. Seems good to me. So we kick this one time. We're gonna use their weapon against them here by giving us the treasure. This becomes a four four. I've got two. Oh, I can't throw out planes. Oh, what am I saying? We're stealing right now. We steal. Now we throw fireball. And this goes to three. Perfect. This is this adaptive for the next uh, second time in a row has been so clutch. We've cleared the board. We take that to a three. We attack this for three. I mean, that couldn't have been a cleaner turn. Oh, let's go. Let's freaking go. Wow, wow, wow. Let's get it. <laughs> that was amazing, bro. GG. All right, one last game for the road. That one though, man, I'm telling you guys, I'm sure you guys have all had this uh, feeling before, but when you get every answer in a row that you need to answer the problem on board and it takes a little bit of like, you know, thought process before uh, making your plays, it just, nothing feels better. It's like a glove that fits so perfectly. You know what I mean? That couldn't have gone any better. We've been going second a lot, right? Or am I tripping? I'm, I'm, I, I didn't really notice in the beginning of the game, uh, the first couple of games, so that's probably an indicator that I was going first. Because I only complain about going second when I notice it. Alright, we've got no two drops here, but that's fine. We lead in with an adaptive here. It's a good little consolation prize. Don't love dropping that down on turn two, though. The mana was a bit slow. Um, I like that we have the hot springs. Hot Springs has been a little bit like one of those cards, again, that's been in my hand, but hasn't really felt like it's been the card we've been wanting to play. You know what I mean? Crusher. I think we need to get uh, get going here. I think speed is going to kill here. That's what we want. We got to get going really quick. So the more creatures we drop, the better. Because once this comes out of the graveyard, which could be in two turns, we are absolutely going to lose this game because they steal our creatures after they sweep the board. Ah, oh, man. Part of me wants to just slam this and then, but Gallic Readers is more damage potentially on board and ramp. So we're gonna play that in a bank buster. I think we just gotta unload again as fast as we possibly can here. Um, this is summoning sickness. I almost crewed that up. That'd have been so silly. All right, we send both of these in here. Okay. All good. Throwing the adaptive away like that might have been a problem. I don't know. Uh, I'm sure you have your uh, give and take for both scenarios, but at least the field is cleared up now and I can attack through. But I'm sure they have the reanimation spell now. Yep, which they do. 
That'll do it, guys. That was fun. <laughs> that was fun. I uh, I could have blown it up with another another one of these, but I doubt that uh, we were gonna be lucky enough. And sure enough, we definitely weren't lucky enough to find one. All right, let's get this down. I guess. Uh, that portal to Phyrexia just took the wind out of my sails. That is a good card. Coming down on turn five. Just silly, man. When you got it, you got it. And they had it. One, two, three. Make it a four, baby. Let's go. I mean, we're going to try. We're going to go down swinging the best we can here, but I have a wandering emperor coming down, don't we? Don't we? Uh, That can't block. Can get menace and vigilance, but not reach, unfortunately. Portal to Phyrexia steals another one of my creatures. I guess had I... Thought this one through a little bit more. I could have saved this in hand until the portal came down. I was just trying to be super aggressive, but that might not have been the move. I think the move maybe would have been to play it slower. Don't offer them so many things to kill and then blow this up after it's been resolved. But who's to say they don't have another reanimator spell in hand though, right? I would imagine they do. Lay down arms. Well, that was unfortunate. That doesn't do me any good, actually. I looked at that like, hmm, that's pretty cool, but I forgot it doesn't do me any good. If I had all will be one down on the field, things would be looking a little better, but that's not the case. All right, we got a forge down on the field now. Uh, we're tied up at 16 apiece. That's something. Crusher's looking to blow something up um, by removing those counters. This is unfortunately colorless mana to do the requirements. I wish it had a little bit of red and green in the mix. I couldn't do it, but not going to be the case. <laughs> Man, it's so funny how broken this one card can be. Because, I mean, look at our board right now. If you look at our board, it's like we got all the pieces we need to be successful. Just And we're losing to one card. Crazy. Such a powerful card. And it's, it's also an interesting card, too. Because it is very powerful. But in some cases, could be a completely dead card. And I've I've played it plenty of times where <laughs> it was a dead card. I would pull it uh, pull it out or cast it, and the opponent was more of a control deck with no creatures, and there was nothing to grab out of the graveyard every turn. That's when you get really sad. All right, they send just a maze crusher. Pretty wise, knowing that I could crew up the bank buster. Ooh, hold on. Hold on just a gosh darn minute. You're saying there's a chance? I don't think so, but you never know. One, two, throw a two mana fire or no, that's not, that's not what we want to do, right? Dang it. I wish I could draw a card here. Oh, that's unfortunate. I don't know why I thought I could put this on a vehicle. All right, we'll wait then. We will wait. We should be able to survive another turn here. It's not not unlikely that we survive another one and then uh, we'll go from there. Do they steal my adaptive? I doubt it. Yeah, they bring in their spirit companion. More card draw for them. Who knows though, maybe I should just start targeting their face, not worry so much about the creatures on field. Um, I could end up too just proliferating for like a boatload and then 
it's all individual one mana sh or one power shots. So I can go one, two, three, four, you know what I mean? Um, that could be a good way to clear up the board a little bit. Lay down arms is still a very scary card that I'm sure they have access to. There it is, but they play it now as opposed to uh, maybe they're trying to draw out the bank buster so they can use it on that as well. So we make sure to play the bank buster that uh, we want them to hit with it. And then we can crew uh, off the bank buster with our other bank buster. I like that we gain life off of those too. That's kind of been keeping us in the game a little bit. All right, things just got way interesting here. That is probably gonna put a nail in the coffin for us, but, but we're not giving up. We are not giving up. Here we go. Ooh, okay, hold on now. Hold on now. What do we do? What do we do? Is it? I think we steal. I think we steal the Gallic Greeters because it has the most upside for counters, right? Feels like it. One, two, three. And I don't have to kick it so I can use more mana. Yeah, I think that's the play. I think we play this, steal this, bank buster, or the hot springs, probably the hot springs, or let's do this first, let's do this first, and then kill one of the spirited companions, and then one, two, three. Now we proliferate for three one ones. That seems pretty good. Proliferate. Okay. One, two, three. Just clean the board up nice and nice and neat. Okay. And then bank buster for f for three. I don't love that. Um, maybe take one of the shield counters. But eventually, eventually this thing just comes back over and over again, right? So we don't love that. All right, that's going to have to do for now. And then hopefully we can do a little bit more next turn with the all for one or all we will be one. Ah, this is so tough, man. And this is some treacherous waters we're trying to navigate here. I don't think it's possible, but we're going to we're trying to we're trying to swim out of the deep end. OK, that is highly unfortunate. That should just about do it. That should just about do it. They take the oil counter, which kills the creature. I don't know if I would have done that. Ah, wish me luck. I could use it. Well, that does it. Proliferate. Proliferate. If only we had one more land to work with here, I could play this too. But instead, got to go this route. Shield counter gone. Shield counter gone. Kill you. Taking nine. We lose the game. And they got double to uh, the uh, portals as well. So very good game to the opponent. That unfortunately ends our run here though today. Uh, had some really good games though, man. Some really interesting games. Uh, let's break this thing down. Stick around because we're going to talk about the deck a little bit more. And uh yeah, man. Thanks for hanging out. That is going to conclude today's gameplay portion of the video. We are going to talk about the deck a little bit further. Before I do that, I want to give a huge shout out to everyone who's made it this far into the video. I appreciate you so very much for that. It helps a ton with the YouTube algorithm. So uh, thanks for sticking with me all the way to the end. I appreciate you. Uh, with that being said, let's take a look at the build, man. Uh, we're looking at All Will Be One. Obviously a fantastic enchantment that does some serious damage if played around. Um, I mean, just spitting fireballs out of this thing like crazy. Uh, it's quite the card. And uh, I decided today uh, we're going to really look into 1-1 one -one countered creatures. Um, there's a, there's a lot of modified stuff already kind of going around prior to the all will be one set being released So I figured we'd go that route look to modify some creatures with one one counters And of course a couple of things came to mind like the you know thundering Raiju 
but mostly the Mind Singer. If you guys don't know, this is slowly becoming one of my favorite cards. It steals a creature from your opponent's side of the field, and if you ramp or pump a lot of mana into this thing late game, you can steal something really big, and it comes in with a bunch of 1-1 counters. So not only are you stealing a threat, you could potentially be removing a threat off the field too, if you have an all will be one on the field. And then uh, from there, I was like, let me explore the, uh, explore the oil counters, because I've seen some really good stuff from the oil counters. We played the Forge before, and I, I really enjoyed this card. And this thing gets an oil counter every single turn, creating another trample haste creature that's bigger and bigger and bigger. And it was a nice little addition here because we have the adaptive. Now, I didn't realize this combination, how good these two cards could be potentially together, but it's really cool. The adaptive grows every time a creature that's bigger enters the battlefield. I, I thought this card... Um, I thought this card was uh, whenever you cast a creature bigger. So I wasn't sure how well it would fit into the deck, but it's whenever a creature enters the battlefield. So every time the forge goes off and you have a bigger creature than the adaptive, it's going to grow. So there's a really nice synergy there. And they keep both getting oil counters, just spinning out more fireballs from the all will be one. And then I went with Gala Greeters because I thought it was a really good turn two here. Uh, one of the better turn twos we could have had because it gets one one counters, but it also can ramp us with treasures into the all will be one a little bit quicker. And then in the three drop slot, we found uh, the Maze Crusher. This thing comes in with five oil counters and it does a lot with its oil counters, obviously destroying uh, artifacts and enchantments. You can give this thing a pump. Uh, you can give it menace and, you know, vigilance. It is really, really cool. This thing does a lot for your uh, board. And, uh, you know, there's uh, more oil counters to be placed onto it later. We'll, we'll show that uh, show that in just a moment. But uh, we also got uh, I went with Hot Springs. Hot Springs was pretty cool because we run a lot of creatures. Uh, you know, this comes in with four 1-1 one -one counters on it. I've, I went with things that entered the battlefield with multiple 1-1 one -one counters on it because you get to throw a bigger fireball at the opponent. So uh, the Hot Springs comes in with four. You get to take one off every now and then to place on a creature. And whenever you transfer that 1-1 that one -one counter, it counts for another little bit of a fireball, which is great. Bank Buster also comes in with three, one, one, or three counters on it, giving you the fireball. And then lastly, we went with the Devastator, which if you pump a boatload of mana into this, it also throws quite a uh, sizable fireball. And then lastly, I went with Thirsting Roots just so we could proliferate those oil counters and 1-1 one, one counters, which if you proliferate an entire board full of countered things, you're going to get a lot of 1-1 one, one fireballs. And then lastly, the Monument. This thing obviously allows us to transfer oil counters to our different uh, creatures um, and Forge and Crusher, things like that. But it also comes into the field with two um, counters on it as well. This deck was actually pretty darn good. I was really shocked about how well this performed for me. Uh, there's, It's it's a bit of a, a mid-range, but more leaning towards the aggro side of things, which is pretty cool. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. And uh, that will conclude this video, but we will be back again, of course, tomorrow for another one, guys. And um, just a huge shout out as always, man, to the memberships, um, members on this channel. If you guys don't know, we have a membership program on the channel. It's called the Marty Mob. And then I got to give a huge shout out and my love and support to every member of the Marty Mob because they help support this channel and its growth. So thanks for everything, guys. I appreciate you very much. And as always, you know, just want to show my love uh, for you for that. Uh, but that will conclude today's video, guys. We'll be back again tomorrow. I hope to see you guys there. Um, until next time. Yeah. Peace out. Yeah. 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 Hit him three times like a hat trick. Yeah. The name is says you know Patrick. Yeah, yeah. If you play him, then it's tragic. Hit him with the mythic, yeah, that's magic. Yeah. yeah. FTG, that's what you'll see if you like and subscribe. Where's the upload, man? Uh. Man, all of the time. Coming with the best X to the meta. This ain't cheap, yeah.